Hey there greasy heads and welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I was at the Afro store and I stumbled upon something that happened to catch my eye. And here it is. Bada boom. So I got these two Dax products for about $4.99. Um, 5 euros, that is a, a really good deal for that. I should probably not be thanking the Afro store, but I should just say thanks over to the guys at the Dax company. So thank you to the guys over at Dax. I paid a really good price for um, $4.99 is actually the price of just one jar of the um, Dax Green Lanolin Vegetable Oils Pomade. So I'm basically paying for the price of one of these huge jar pomades from Dax, plus a free Dax Blue Short Neat, and that's exactly what I'll be reviewing today. And by the way, $4.99 is actually a really good price, even if I'm paying just for the huge pomade jar, because it'll really last me a long time, 7.5 ounces for about 5 euros. That is just great. Plus, hey, a little sample tin of the um, Dax Short and Neat. That is just absolutely wonderful. So I'll just be opening it up right now. And this will be something different today because I will be doing a first impressions review. Normally, before I make pomade review videos, I would use them for about six, I'm sorry, um, for about at least three days, usually about three to four days at least. And most of the time, a week, after buildup, I would make the video on the product itself. However, today will be my first time ever using it. So you can see my first impressions in this video. This is one of the more popular but less reviewed DAX products and I'm excited to try it out. So it's 1.25 ounces, the sample tin is 1.25 ounces. Which is actually, the video is out of focus. So right over there. So 1.25 for a sample jar is actually a really good size because this is half of the actual Dexton of short need because the actual Dextons are about 3.5 ounces. This is on 1.25. So it is half of the whole thing. So I keep saying this, but that, that, that's, Really great for the price. I get half a jar of short and neat plus a full 7.5 ounce jar of the um, vegetable oil pomade. So, okay, enough chit chat. Let's get to the main point over here. It smells, it smells just like the Red Dax actually, that typical old school barbershop powder smell. Very sweet smelling. In fact, I'll just, you know what, I'll get my red dax over here and just compare the scent. Yeah, more or less the same scent. But I don't know whether it's just psychological or something, but the blue tin just smells a little powdery in the red one, but it's almost the same. And by the way, I have the um, red tin and the blue tin at the same time, so fun! I can just, I heard that these two together, are just they're just the ultimate combo. Okay, so now for that short and neat. It says over here it's a light hairdress for light hold and maximum shine. There have been some redesigns of the short and neat tint because I've seen earlier versions of this that said it has a light hold and medium shine but a couple of other reviews have mentioned that its shine is way more than medium so I was a little confused because the, the reviews claim to have high shine but the tints actually say it has medium shine so I eventually realized that this is probably a mistake made by the DAX company, which is why they changed the tints to have maximum shine instead of medium. So let's go try this out. An extremely greasy consistency. It's none waxy whatsoever. It's, it, it already looks pretty shiny and then, ooh, just look at how the light reflects off it. 
containing what does contain the ingredients? Okay, right here. Coconut oil and castor oil. This seems something very nourishing. It's just, it looks pretty healthy. Let's scoop it out right now. Wow, it, it's extremely soft. It, it's just very soft. It, it scoops out really nice and easy. It has a very nice clear color to it. It's, it scoops out a lot easier than expected. It's super smooth. It's, it's even smoother than butter. Just wow. I'll, I'll admit this, melt this in between. Easy application goes in like nothing. I'm beginning to really like this stuff and wow, just wow, wow, wee, wow, wow. Just check out that beautiful shine right there. This, the shine of this is just awesome. It's, I would say that it's almost like the shine of a um, Royal Crown, probably around the same as Royal Crown pomade, but a little better than Royal Crown. Actually, it's even better than Royal Crown. I, I was surprised. At first, I thought this would be like the shine of black and white original hairdressing because the intent have always said medium shine on the earlier versions of it, and some people say it's like a higher than medium, so I, I thought it was in between medium and high shine, maybe sort of like a black and white um, Pluka hairdressing kind of shine. But it turns out, yes, really, Dax screwed up in the previous tins. It is a maximum shine, not a medium shine. It is one of the shinies out there, I'm not lying. It just really goes in like nothing, it's no hassle at all. It covers a lot of area of the hair. This is definitely in one of my top five. Super easy scooping out an application, nice scent. Um, I also like the appearance and color of it. It's sort of like a, it's translucent. It looks a little um, transparent. Just look at some of the um, grease right in here. And it goes in like nothing and it has one of the best shine or pomade has ever seen. Okay, now let's get my comb and see how this styles. I can dig my comb really, really easily through my hair with this. It's actually one of the lightest feelings for pomade um, I've ever experienced in my um, years of pomading. I mean, I've been using pomade for about two years now, and this is just one of the easiest, um, how do I say this? My comb just sticks in really, really easy. It's like, it's just gliding through my hair. It's got to go for my part. Even for my short sides, they're pretty decent at that. I mean, look at my sides. They could just go down a little easy with this. I thought this will be like a more of a... Because of its extremely light feeling in the hair and its ease of application and melting, I thought this will be one of those pomades that'll make my hair stand up because it it's too light. But it turns out, man, I was wrong. Look at my sides. Just, wow. I, I could really keep this not completely down. The um, further sides, the further parts of my sides, like around the back, are kind of not exactly completely tamed down. But the fronter parts, the fronter sides, I'm sorry, the fronter parts of my sides are just uh, well maintained with this. Like it, can, it can sort of be tamed downwards. I think I can just use a few slicks of my military brush to keep the sides down and I shall be 
Great. And this stuff is absolutely slick. It's I just love the slickness of this. For my contour. I'll go ahead and grab my brush to take care of the sides and back. For a light pomade, its performance is actually really nice. It has um, a little more hold than expected to have and has one of the least resistance I have ever experienced. The shine on this looks absolutely like um, what you'd see in the 1950s. It, it has an absolutely greaser shine. It's a super wet shine. I love it. And by the way, guys, curving my hair right now, before uh, applying this pomade, it was completely degreased. I started with a blank slate. I had some royal crown yesterday, and I just decreased for the sake of making this video. Short and neat feels almost like you're combing through a hair cream. I probably exaggerated in that part, but um, basically it, it's... When you comb it, it feels absolutely almost like a, a little like nothing, but a little like there's something in there, it's a little in between. Maybe it just feels a little tiny bit more resistant than uh, hair creams, but more or less almost like you're combing through um, hair creams. It's how extremely light it is. And so I get a really modest contour from this. It does an overall well performance for my size, actually. And now, that is just some quick styling I should call it done right now. And I should just show you guys how my hair looks. It is absolutely shiny, it's mirror shiny. Whoop, I gotta take care of those, I'm stretched right there. So, yes, this product really suits its name short and neat. I mean, I have short hair, even short Asian hair. It can um, tame down my short Asian hair, but I have thin Asian hair. But nevertheless, it's great for short hairstyles, but not too short, of course. Like short, short or medium hair, it would work fine. It makes your hair super neat and gives you that extremely clean and shiny look. I get a really great contour with it. I could imagine myself using this during my school days, actually. But that's, if I had this, if I had Dax back in Indonesia, I would see myself using this um, pretty much as my go-to for um, school. However, for those of you with longer hair, um, this would probably not hold up a, a pompadour. Maybe it'll hold up um, a very modest side part pompadour, which is what I would do for school on some days, but slick backs, contours, this is the best for contours actually, I would say one, one of the best for contours, but the hairstyle that this works best with is a contour, and yes, use it as a top coat with your heavier pomade, like I said, red and blue, perfect marriage.
And so, you've seen my um, first impressions of this. And I should just sign off right now. I hope you like this video. It is um, something different from my channel. And next time, I think my next video will be for this particular DAX product, the huge vegetable oils pomade. I'll be uploading this video on this particular short and neat video in a few days from now. So if you want to read more about the buildup and what do you think about the buildup of DAX Blue, just go ahead and read the description or maybe I might put it in the um, highlighted um, pinned up the comment, uh, pinned up comment. So my description of the buildup and washability will be either in the description or in the um, pinned comment or both. Just be sure to check out my channel, stay tuned, because I'll be doing a little more reviews. Till next time.